Rebecca Strelick. I'm the Conference Arts Director for 2009 at SIGREP. I'm also the 2012 Conference Chair. This year, my umbrella covers quite a few things. I have two people who are working on two different art galleries. The one I'm standing in now is part of the Biologic Art Gallery, the juried side of art. And there's a curated gallery as well uh, called Generative Fabrication that deals with the curated art side, so things that are hand-picked by the chair as opposed to submitted through the submission system. In addition, uh, my responsibilities cover the studio, which has been in, involved with SIGGRAPH for a long time, which is an art-making environment for attendees. And new this year uh, is Art Papers, which is kind of the art side of the technical paper. And those paper deliveries will come in two sessions, and they're also published in the internationally renowned Leonardo Journal for the first time this year, in addition with the biologic work. So the documentation for the work has finally reached an audience that's outside of SIGGRAPH, internationally known. Um, very, very excited in, in initiative this year. My name is Ilona Van Ghent, and we are standing at the entrance to the Biologic Juried Art Gallery. We have 11 artists from nine countries. Um, it's a very select group this year, all of which, uh, all the artists are making works that have to do with what happens when we combine biology and technology, and how they influence each other and how sometimes mechanical or digital things actually appear to be alive and sometimes living things need technology um, or are using technology as a way to sustain life or to alter life. Her juried team picked out a piece from Philip Beasley. He's a Toronto-based artist. Uh, it's also the piece that's on the cover of Leonardo. And basically, uh, it's, a, it's a forest of plastic plants. Um, which sounds very basic, except that it includes um, a million parts that all have to come together so that these plants can articulate and move um, and change to you in their environment. Um, and the most amazing thing is that when the piece is disassembled, it fits into a box that's eight cubes square. So it's tiny and it, this thing is massive. Uh, another interesting piece is the, is the one that's behind me now. Hello, my name is Nina Tomasi and I'm here with my artwork, Biological Instrumentation. And uh, these plants are mimosa plants and they react to that air hoses when the air is coming. So I have two measurements uh, which um, are in this soil. One is the light sensor and one is the chemical sensor which is measuring always the constant reaction from the plant. So those plants are telling the technology what to do in terms of the way they move according to airflow. So one plant will be uh, stimulated and then that plant talks to the one next to it which causes air to flow on another and that sound you're hearing uh, is actually the roots of the plants interacting with the soil, um, being amplified through various audio systems. It's very exciting stuff. Um, you know, our art gallery chair said a little bit earlier to me today, which made a lot of sense, is that I think people try to be the masters of technology. And I think this show is, is really showing that we're crossing into this idea that technology is becoming more and more natural looking. And those lines are not only dotted, they're very, very blurry.